Welcome friends, it is Sunday morning, so we're going to do another one of our old cookbook series. And right now we're working from this book, the Chicago Daily News Cookbook, published in 1930. So in Chicago, in a big city, in the United States, right at the beginning of the Great Depression. Um, and you can tell from these recipes that there's still hope. People think this might not last that long, and a lot of these recipes are very hopeful and filled with things that we might not think of as Depression-era recipes. Uh, and the one we're going to do today is Brussels sprouts and bacon, because, you know, here we are, how many years later, and this is something that I love to eat. So, I've got boiling water that's salted, and we put the Brussels sprouts in and we boil them. It says to boil until tender, about 25 minutes. Um, to me, that just sounds way too long, but I know that, you know, in my parents' era and my grandparents and that, they boiled vegetables until they were just about mush. So we're going to go, we're going to follow the recipe, we're going to go do 25 minutes and see what happens. Okay, the Brussels sprouts are almost done, so I'm going to start rendering the fat off on this bacon. So it sounds like I want to render out as much fat as possible so that I can fry the Brussels sprouts in the fat. And I also want to crisp up the bacon because I'm going to take it out, fry the Brussels sprouts, and then add the bacon back in at the end as part of the dish. So I start out in a cold pan, sort of medium-low heat, get as much fat out as possible, then I'll crank up the heat. So I'm going to say the bacon is done. We're going to pull that out of the pan, and the Brussels sprouts are definitely done. Definitely done. So out comes the bacon, and it says to drain the Brussels sprouts, but I'm not going to drain them. I'm going to use a spider to pull them out because the water that's in there would be great for starting to make a vegetable broth for another soup. Um, and in keeping with sort of Depression era, I think that's pretty smart. So out comes the bacon. I think I've got most of it out. Now the problem is you don't want to turn down the temperature. Um, so the bacon fat is going to start to burn a little bit, and in go the Brussels sprouts. Okay, salt and pepper for seasoning. As much as you like, as little as you like. Um, depending on how salty the boiling water was, you might not need to add much salt. And I'm going to throw in about half of the bacon now and mix it around. I'm going to save the rest for plating. I just continue stirring that around and sort of crisp up the Brussels sprouts, but it will be tough because these little suckers are waterlogged. <laughs> really waterlogged. Maybe that's a good thing. Okay, Brussels sprouts and bacon. A classic. So as much as everything changes, nothing changes. Yeah. Nothing changes. So bacon, bacon Brussels and Brussels sprouts. sprouts, they go together. I mean, that, that's the only way, the, the only, yeah. Um, so as much as the... Everybody claims they've got a new idea, let's put bacon in it. Yeah. Someone no. said that long ago. Someone said that a long time ago. <laughs> and so um, I'm a little bit worried because it said to cook these for 25 minutes. After you'd already parboiled them. No, boil them for 25 minutes. Oh my, that's a lot of boil. Mm -hmm. That might be a more of an, uh, an older way of thinking about vegetables. It is, but you know what? They just fall apart in your mouth. You're not... Remember when you were a little kid and your mom fed you Brussels sprouts and it was like they, they were in your mouth forever because you didn't... I don't know. I think I would have boiled them less. I like the crunchier... A little bit of a crunch? Yeah. I think that texture of mushy is okay. one of those. Uh, for the texture for me, I don't. Clearly, you like it. I'm going back for another one because I actually am really enjoying this now. I might just eat more bacon. Hmm. This could use onion though. That would step it up. Frying onion with the bacon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because those are also flavors that go together. Um, this is not in the recipe, but I do know. That lemon really does bring out the that, nice, uh, nice Brussels yeah. sprout flavor. It's true. So the acidic from the lemon will... Look at that. Now you've gone and hipstered it. I have gone and hipstered <laughs> it. 
<laughs> Take it. So, well, I, I could have gotten out the microplane and shaved on some Parmesan, which would like, you know, hipsterize food truck hipster it and we could charge like 30 bucks. Oh, for, you could just boil for, it a little less. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throw in a lemon. This is a bit messy. So, um, I, think, I think the point of this is that, you know, stuff has been around for a very long time and there really isn't all that much that's new in the world in terms of food. Um, the lemon really does bring a nice little... Brings it up. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your Brussels sprouts. See you again soon.